Okay, Black Atheists of America is an organization dedicated to bridging the gap between atheism and the black community. Uh, we focus on dealing with social issues that are specific to the black community, uh, as well as bringing diversity to the atheist community. I think it's important because the atheist community is only as, a, as strong as its members, so the more diversity you have, the stronger the, the movement. Uh, and then on the flip side, with, uh, as far as social issues are concerned, it, it just helps society at large. You know, society profits... Um, benefits as a whole when you know our lower our, our lower class members are or people I'm sorry in lower income um, areas are um, able to to get on their feet so all, it all around, this help all around uh, with this it's difficult because we're uh, a very religious community I mean um, statistically speaking Pew um, just did a study, uh, I think in 2011, which revealed that, again, blacks are the most religious in the country. So it's not simply being dismissed by your family members, it's being dismissed by the black community. And then we have, we have a lot of issues, but we also have this issue of, um, where, of education, lack of education in our community. Our communities have really poor education, and when it comes to our history, we're often misled to believe that, you know, without religion, we wouldn't have been able to come over, overcome many of these hardships, uh, whether it be slavery or Jim Crow South or whatever it is, we give credit where it's not due. We give credit to religion um, for being able to overcome it instead of giving credit to the people that um, were leading the, the, uh, these organizations or, were, you know, were leading um, the fight uh, against these struggles. Um, and then also, along the same lines, when we have people that were free thinkers during this movement, we don't uh, acknowledge the fact that they were free thinkers. We might say, oh, A. Philip Randolph helped, but then we don't talk about the fact that A. Philip Randolph was an atheist, or at minimum, he uh, identified himself as an, as an agnostic. You know, we don't talk about these things. So even when we do talk about the person, we don't talk about the religious aspect of, or the lack thereof, I should say. Um, so that's a major issue, uh, education in our community. Uh, and then the other major issue that uh, I want to address is the fact that, you know, there's a church on every block in the black community and we dump literally billions of dollars into the church when we're not willing to spend the same money on improving things in our community, improving health care, you know, fighting things like uh, profiling. You know, we rather look to supernatural solutions for these things instead of lobbying, instead of doing actual activism to, to fight these things. So I want to address um, those main um, social injustices uh, along with, again, bringing, making people feel more comfortable about, you know, the word atheist. Um, and yeah, we, it's okay. It is absolutely okay to question, to question religion. You should be questioning uh, religion. There are thousands of um, religions that are currently practiced around the world. I think the last statistic that I read was over 4,400,000 4, religions that are practiced around the world. Um, and on top of that, we've had millions of gods that have been... Um, that have been worshipped throughout history. So when you know we're we're willing to to look beyond you know the religions of you know, that aren't um, in line with what our parents taught us, uh, but we're not willing to challenge. But it, it is okay. You need to challenge your belief system uh, generally, not simply just religion, but many of the other uh, things that we've adopted as true, and really give uh, a critical analysis to why you believe what you believe, and it, it only makes you stronger. Yeah, um, so there are organizations that are there for support to help um, overcome, uh, to help recover from religion, if you will. Um, there are many people in the church that have even spoken to, to, my, uh, to me about the fact that they are uh, atheists or free thinkers or agnostics, people, basically people who don't believe what the preacher is preaching, but they still go to church for the social aspect of it. So there are uh, many groups uh, around uh, the country and actually around the world which provide that support. So you're not just leaving the church and say, what now? They're providing the, these social networks for you to be able to, to engage in that. And my organization is one of those organizations. Uh, we're primarily online as, uh, at uh, www.blackatheistsofamerica.org. Uh, we're also on every major um, social network, Facebook, Twitter. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, Atheist Nexus. Um, so yeah, we're on we're online, and we also hold um, events in New York City every Wednesday night from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And it's just like an after work mixer. Uh, come as you are. We have a couple of drinks with some really awesome people, 
and um, that's basically what we do. But definitely reach out, whether it be my organization or uh, another organization in your area. D definitely reach out because there are there are many people out there that are willing to provide support and um, you know make new friends and uh, all that good stuff. Um, my name is Ayana Watson. I am the founder of Black Atheists of America. I just want to tell all of my friends and family that we are atheism. <laughs>